Hello, I'm Christian Pelletier from Portable Winch. Today we're going to take a look at the PCW 3000 Live Battery Powered Winch. The PCW 3000 Live Winch, as its name suggests, Lee for lithium ion, is powered by 2.5 or 5 amp batteries, which are available in various brands, including the Greenworks commercial brand in North America. We have the Kramer brand in other European countries and there are other batteries too. You can see the list on our website. This winch here gives us a pulling power of 2,200 pounds at a very lightweight 20 pounds. If we add the battery, we add a little bit more, but we have a weight when we're pulling the winch of only 20 pounds. And we have three speeds that take us up to a maximum speed of 38 feet per minute, which is a very appreciable speed when you're working with the winch. In terms of operation, it's very simple, of course, because there's no gasoline engine, there's no maintenance. So basically, if you're looking for a winch that you're going to use occasionally, it can be an excellent choice because when you're not using it, you leave it in the garage and when the time comes, you simply insert the battery and use the winch. So in terms of use, so the batteries, as I was saying, you have two models, 2.5 or 5 amps of 80 or 82 volts. All you have to do is insert the battery, then close the cover, the cover that protects against the rain. Then there's the switch on top. We activate it by pressing down on the button. To operate the winch. As you can see, this is a winch without a clutch, which means that as soon as you start the electric motor, the drum starts turning. So in terms of operation, it's extremely simple to use. Firstly, when you buy the winch, it comes with an anchoring sling. This sling enables us to attach the winch to a load or an anchoring point that is heavier than the load we have to pull. To do this, it's simple. You attach one end of the sling to one of the hooks, go around your anchoring point, such as a tree, and insert the sling into the second hook. What you need to know is that when you use the winch, when it comes under tension, the winch lifts. It's not leaning against the ground. So what we want is for the winch to be able to move from left to right and up and down to align itself with the load, which could itself move during winching. So we want to have the same force applied to both anchor hooks at all times. That's why you're asked or encouraged not to make several turns around the anchor point, which could result in a greeter force being applied to one of the two hooks. Once that's done, we'll show you how to insert the rope into the winch. Once we've attached the winch, we're going to use the rope. In the case of the 3000 Lee, we want to use the 10 millimeter or 3.8 rope. We pass the rope through the entry hook and under the tension rod. The tension rod keeps the rope tension towards the gearbox, i.e. towards the first turn of the capstan drum thus preventing the rope from tangling during use. As for the capstan winch, some of you may already be familiar with the concept, which comes from the marine world. So the beauty of a capstan system is that the rope doesn't accumulate on the drum, unlike standard winches, which means you can have unlimited rope length because when you use it, the rope goes in and out of the winch, unlike other standard winches. And it also ensures constant pulling power because with a standard winch, the more rope you accumulate on the drum, so the larger the diameter of the drum, the less power you have. This is not the case with a capstan winch. Once we've inserted the rope into the entry hook under the tension rod, we pass under the drum and make up to four turns on our capstan drum for maximum friction. Then we pass the rope through the exit hook. So we're set up, we've attached the winch to the tree, our rope is installed, tied after the load, we start the motor. Your job is simply to stand back and pull on the end of the rope at the same speed as the winch rotates. Sometimes some customers will say they don't have full friction on the drum. Often this is because you're not pulling at the same speed, so you're not applying all the necessary tension to the drum. By the way, when you buy your winch, you'll also be getting a new rope and a new drum. We can give you a little tip. 
What we say is that a rope that's a little dirtier will give you more friction. So you can get it a little dirty on the garage floor or you get a little dust on it. So it's not completely white. It's gonna get a little grayish. Then you know that the rope has a little more abrasion. You could also start the engine and use a light sandpaper to gently scratch it, which will increase its level of friction. You'll only do this just once at the beginning. Once your rope is sufficiently worn or used, you'll have the necessary friction without any problem. Once you've got the load where you want it, all you have to do is ease off the tension on the rope so that the winch gently sinks back to the ground and you stop your motor. So it's very easy to use. A highly efficient, maintenance-free winch. It's a great joy to use. What's more, you always have a constant pulling force, no rope length limit, and many more advantages to using a portable capstan winch. To conclude, when you buy the winch, it's sold on its own. So there is no battery, no charger, nor accessories, but it does come with an anchoring sling. However, at Portable Winch, you can also buy an accessorized winch. It comes with all its essential accessories, including a 2.5 amp battery, charger, and various other accessories. You can see a video on this subject that explains the use of each of the accessories included with accessorized winches. I hope this video has given you the information you need to make an informed choice and to use your winch with confidence. If you have any questions, concerns or comments, we invite you to contact us in a variety of ways. Please feel free to phone, email or chat with us. It's always a pleasure to talk to our customers. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.